everyone, it is Julian here from Connecting Early Years Family Center. Today our topic is going to be using uh, nature as our balance course. Before we begin our video, I just want to really quickly um, go over the term unstructured play. You might have heard this before, but this is a really important term. It refers to when we're allowing our children to have play where we're not structuring it in such a way as there's a specific goal or specific activity or something that we have to accomplish for the day, but just letting them really explore and play naturally in whatever way they decide to. And it really incorporates elements such as the imagination, creativity, problem solving, and all those wonderful things. One ratio that is sometimes recommended is that your child should have two times um, unstructured play to one time structured play. So for maybe every two hours that you might play roaming around in the woods and just being unstructured, just exploring, then have an hour where maybe there's a specific task or craft or something similar that you're doing. Those are just guidelines, but what we want to focus on today is how to really let your child just explore, be unstructured, and while doing this, really work on those things such as balance and coordination, and nature offers such a perfect opportunity for this. These large natural rocks are great ways for your child to work on muscle development, balance, coordination, and strength training as they go because it offers a natural thing for them to climb instead of just a ladder which has obvious footholds. But something like this which has little grooves and divots and they're going to have to be a little more creative in the way they climb it. And it's also a lot more fun to be able to climb and jump down into all this nice greenery below. So again, that's our first way of doing this because you might be thinking, oh, my child can climb the ladder, but sometimes, unfortunately, we've had playground, playground closures. So this is one alternative that's very safe and very connected to nature. Your child can have a lot of fun experimenting with different types of logs that they want to walk on. So here, there's a nice smooth one right above a puddle, so it's that extra element of don't fall in or you're gonna get wet. Not super wet, but just fun amount of wet. But they can also explore with logs that are at an angle, maybe have bark on them, makes them a little rougher, maybe something smoother because it's a little bit damp. So many different ways that they can work on developing their balance on different types of surfaces. And this is also a great tactile way for them to explore all these different surfaces in nature. I'm doing it in rain boots because it's super wet out today, but this is also a great activity if they want to try doing it barefoot um, to really engage those nerve centers on the bottom of their feet. So lots of ways that you can do this one. Um, and as well, we're going to look for a couple other types of trees that we could maybe do a little bit of balancing on. Again, here we have another fall and log. And this is again a great opportunity to pop up and do a little bit of balancing. This one's nice and easy for an adult. For a little one, it might be that little bit difficult. Um, but again, Right now we don't have access to things like gymnastic classes and you know those structured sports we're used to doing. So take your child outside. If your child misses these sports, if it's something they wanted to try, if it's something that they just love doing all on their own, take them outside and it's actually so much fun to just let them explore all the different things that they can find on their own to climb on. And we do have a tree climbing video and a reminder that it's not about telling your child, be careful, don't climb there. It's about teaching them to be aware of their own um, position and how comfortable they're going. So if they're going too high, you can just stop and ask them, are you sure you want to go that high? How do you feel? And maybe they'll start to realize, oh, I'm going higher than I thought and come back down a little bit. So it's not about necessarily um, avoiding risky play. We like risky play. Um, it's something we've talked about a couple times and we're going to be talking about again uh, probably in future. But letting them do these natural exercises, which aren't as risky as we think, they're just developing uh, muscle coordination, balance, all those great things. This is actually um, a great activity for balance and coordination because there's so much stuff floating in the water. There's slippery leaves, there's little pieces of twigs, sometimes there's rocks under the surface. And again, these aren't things you're going to hurt yourself on, but these are things that are going to be something you have to be aware of. You know, some of the mud will sometimes suck at you and you know there might be one spot that's deeper than the rest so you have to really engage your leg muscles and use all of your kind of senses of balance and perception of where you're walking 
to, you know, stay straight, not slip, you know, stay even in the water. And it's okay if you fall, it's just water with a little bit of leaves in it. But it's a really fun one because you're not going to get a lot of mud play like this anywhere else but in nature. And these are great things for developing that sense of balance when you're maybe walking on the sand in the summer or going somewhere where the ground's not as steady as we're used to. So these are all important skills for your child to have and a great way to develop them is by finding some puddles. So check out our puddle video if you want to watch more uh, ideas that you can do in these. Another great way that you can uh, work on your balance in uh, nature is it doesn't have to be just natural objects. Oftentimes there are man-made things such as uh, big stone staircases made with natural materials or also decks and wooden bridges that have different pitches and, and tilts to them. So these are all great things that you can look for, like this bridge over here, when you're doing um, your time out in nature again. Go for walks, explore different environments here. Like I said, this bridge has a wonderful tilt to it. It has a bit of a slight pitch. This is a great way, especially for your children who are young, you know, haven't been walking too, too long, to kind of gradually get used to changes in elevation and direction. Um, and again, it's also fun because if they really want to. So many things in one place here. They can balance on this stone wall. They can go all around the pond, just like we did in our um, puddle so, so many things you can do here, and again, it's naturally building your child's coordination and balance and strength and not even thinking about it, but just having a fun day out at the pond. Paths like this can be great for working on your child's balance and coordination because, as you can see, there are so many different obstacles. That's hard to even tell it's a path. Um, but again, this is great because there's so many different things for them to negotiate and climb over. And while for us it might just be a step or two higher than we're thinking, for them it feels probably like a very great adventure to get to climb over all these different logs and duck under them. And again, a lot of it is letting them figure out the best way for them to balance and climb, um, as opposed to something like a gymnastics class where it's one balance beam um, and there's often only one way to really negotiate that obstacle. So this pulls in also aspects of critical thinking and problem solving. Another activity that you can do, and this is one of my favorites, is find a nice natural object. Here I have a very small trickle of water, not quite a stream. Just practice jumping over it, see how far they can jump over it. If they land in it, not a big deal. They just get their feet that little bit wet, make some fun splashes. Everyone loves to play in puddles, but again, this is a really great way for them to practice jumping over something fun and again they're not thinking of it as practicing how far they can jump or if they can jump high enough it's just practicing playing in the stream working on those things that also build muscle development coordination um, jumping ability and all those wonderful things without even having to think about it there are steep hills um, gently sloping hills there are hills that can be very slick and some that are very rough they can be really long or they can be, again, quite small, so it's completely um, up to you what kind of hill you want to search out. And the first thing you're going to do when you find your hill should always be to run to the top. And just like that, that's really all you need to know about hills. They're great for running up as you do an incline. Not only is it good for balancing because you're not on a flat surface, also great physical exercise if you know any runners you know they probably do this um, as a really good way to kind of up the intensity of their workout if you go downhill again lots of balance because you're kind of trying to lean back and stay straight and on your feet even as you're going faster than you would typically go again hills are a perfect way to go and use the outdoor as a way to work on balance and coordination so that is it for today's video on using nature as a way to build balance and coordination. Again, at this time, you know, things like gymnastic lessons and other lessons that we would typically focus on doing a structured play to build these skills aren't available, but that's okay because nature offers so many different opportunities for going outside and working on these things, building their strength and physical health. And it's going to be something that's going to benefit them a lifetime through 
because as you age, those skills become more and more important, especially even as seniors. You know, when those falls can be a really big deal, it's just skills that you want to have worked on right from your early childhood all the way through your life. And we'd love to hear all about your outdoor adventure, so please reach out to us. And again, I hope you have fun with these exercises. So thank you for watching and thank you for connecting with us. We'll see you next week.